Hello, everybody. It's us. It is. We are. As always, don't call me <laughs> when I go live. But anyway, you all, it's me, National President Jedediah. And it's me, Madam President, Madam National President, <laughs> Sheena James. <laughs> and we are here getting ready to walk into the meeting for the Atlanta, Georgia chapter, the meeting group. Very exciting. How you feel? I feel amazing. I just told Jedediah that this is... Uh, Something real. Something that we, we, we could only hope for, but only God could envision such a divine situation. It's truly amazing. I want to give a shout out to a brother. What's your name again, man? Ryan. Ryan. Ryan, we, I want to thank you, bro. No problem. Ryan no problem. actually is a freedom fighter here in Atlanta, and he, he, uh, he, he decided to sacrifice his time to sit here at the door and make sure people know where they're going. Absolutely. Thank you, bro. And you said you've been following for how long? Uh, from the beginning. From the very beginning. From the very, the, from the very had, beginning. He's a day one, so that make him an original freedom fighter, too. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff, great people. Come on. So let's get in there. Okay. Let's go. All right, y'all. Brief commercial break. You want to swing that camera around and show them the crowd? Okay, child, to see it. We don't even know who's here. Yeah, you caught right when I was going live. <laughs> okay, we're going to show you all what Atlanta on. I know. I we don't know. We're not sure. But we are. Yeah. Is that more? You got more people. That's all. She's going to give me a chair. It's full. It's full? It's full. It's full. It's full. Look, Chicago. It's full. Atlanta's showing out. <laughs> the rumors, we're going to get more oh, chairs. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my So God. Rena was in there. She knows. Atlanta <laughs> showed up. Let's see what Atlanta on. <laughs> Oh my we're excited about Atlanta. Pumped. We're very excited about Atlanta. We we're excited about all of Freedom Fighters across the country and across the world. And if you all stay tuned, we got some special updates on progress to share as far as the formation of our family. So remember, there's two things going on. One is the formation of the family. Hello! Oh my God. Oh my God. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> oh, look at that freedom fighter right there. Now listen, the, when we, the, the other thing some kept going up. Like, that's okay. Like, uh -uh. That's okay. Hey, we'll, we'll get in what we can fit in. We appreciate it. Yeah, we're grateful. Yeah. Thank you. So we're doing two things. Huh? Hello, how are you? Freedom fighters. Awesome. Freedom fighters right behind us coming in. With, I'm going to wait for this one. It's two things. You're freedom fighter? Yes. Freedom fighter? <laughs> like, I'm wrong here. Hey, Jed, right? Sheena, What's your name? Renika. Renika. Renika it's Hello. A pleasure. Yes. We 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 are we are we are we are. Hello. How are you? How are you? <laughs> That's funny. So. Jasmine. <laughs> so, you all, um, let's see what Atlanta on. Okay. You all going in there? Come on. We out here, man. We out here, man. Get that. What's up? What's up? What's up? Y'all made it. Little Mallory. What? 
Look at them. Just as my feet. What's up, Atlanta? is of course uh, just watching them on live watching a Facebook and watching them just go out and protest and I just felt something in them that uh, just made me want to join them so uh, I'm just so thankful to just get to meet everybody I have a whole new family and I'm so excited for what God has in store for us hey Atlanta Hey, Rena Aquafina, for those who don't know, I have become a freedom fighter. I was led to this family. Um, God placed these people in my life. I needed a life, a social life. I had no life. I go to work. I play bingo. I play roulette. That was my life. Now, my life has changed since the freedom fighter. I've joined the freedom fighter for to fight for justice, for the injustice. Um, we all came along from the Rosemont um, situation, and I'm so blessed to be here. I'm so glad to see all of you finally in person, and this is just the beginning. So I want to say something before Mella uh, TJ say something. We didn't get to uh, give her when the, when the decision was made, but this right here is TJ. She's going to introduce herself, and she is the lead organizer for the city of Chicago. Thank you. Hey, la. <laughs> hey. Hi, everybody. I'm TJ. I'm from Chicago, West Side. We're not going to do that. Be quiet. I joined in Chicago with the Kanika case just felt so, I don't know, it touched me. Got out there, met my new brother, and just got a family, like everybody said. Awesome. <laughs> hey, everybody, I'm Melo. Um, I joined the Freedom Fighters because of this guy. Uh, he and Rena were the first people I met at the 
Brenda was on that bullhorn going crazy. <laughs> she didn't even want to stop and have a conversation. She was like, just stand right there. Give me a second. <laughs> All right, hey, I'm Kanifa. <laughs> cool. But um, like everybody else, man, just just want to stand up for other people who can't stand for themselves and just help support other families. Because if we were all in these situations, then we want somebody to stand for us. So, exactly. And I definitely got a new family, and I think I'm stuck with them forever. Forever. <laughs> True. True. <laughs> Okay, so that means it's my turn, right? <laughs> okay, as y'all know, I'm Mika. Mama Mika. Um, I joined the Freedom Fighters because um, I don't like people being bullied, taken advantage of. Um, I help speak out for people that can't speak for themselves. I'm not scared to speak. So um, that's why I make this choice to help others speak for themselves that can't speak. Um, and I don't like bullies. <laughs> so, with that being said, I'm a freedom fighter. Freedom fighter who? Hello, everybody. Hey. Uh, I am Tashina, a.k.a. who? Hi. Uh, I joined Freedom Fighters because, of course, Kanika is my cousin. And um, I met Jed, well, I wasn't going to go protest. Let me be honest. I wasn't going to go out there and protest at all. I was on Facebook and I seen a live recording. It was Jedediah and three other guys. They went to the parking lot and the security guard and the police officer met them out there and they didn't stop them. They kept pressing. They went inside the hotel and then they went to the mayor's office. I said, oh wait, I wanna do this, I wanna do this. So yeah, that motivated me to come out there to protest for my cousin because I don't think if he came out there, our family wouldn't have been out there, period. But, um, Yes, I appreciate what Jedediah and Shana and all the Freedom Fighters and the civilians, I appreciate everything that they did uh, for my cousin. And I just I just couldn't part ways with him. Even when him and Teresa had their misunderstanding, I'm like, no, nah, this man got a good heart. This man is of God. And like Jasmine said, I do God moves. So my heart and my spirit led me to stay fighting yeah. with the freedom fighters i can fight for my family and i can fight for the freedom fighters also with the freedom fighters also to help other families so that's why i'm a freedom fighter but before i stop speaking i want to get y'all hyped up one more time who shut them down who shut them down who shut them down That's the Atlanta. That's much bigger than this. Oh, 
was funny. Yeah, she worked just like that. Thank you. I love it. So you really brought a pot to the meat. She showed sure did. She showed sure did. Too sure much for me. This part, this part is a part of the movement, just like everybody else. Oh, no, she's good. She got to study our DNA thing. <laughs> she do, don't she? Well, I'm Sheena. Um, I am actually... Your your elected national president. <laughs> elected. <laughs> um, I, I don't even know what to, to tell you. I think a lot of you probably know my story, but um, I'm a mother. I'm a mother of a young son who is everything to me. And you want people to look at your children the way that you look at them. You know, the good kid, the straight-A student, all that other stuff. But I realized that in America, that wasn't the case for my little black boy. So I decided to be a voice for not just my son, but all children. And now, you know, it, it used to be a situation where I only had to worry about him. But, you know, now our little girls are being killed, too. And all kind of other things are happening. So just as a mother and from that standpoint, I recognize that there was a need for change. I've always been somebody who was vocal for the people. Didn't matter who it was. I'm like Mika. If you bothering her, you bothering me. What you want to do? <laughs> and that was my whole take on life across the board. My mom will tell you. I used to tell her, like, I just don't understand why I got to shut up. Like, it might just tell me, you know. Why do I need to shut up? I want to talk. I'm supposed to talk. I'm supposed to say what I'm feeling. I will get my whooping, and I'll be back to talking again. <laughs> it's just part of who I am. But ultimately, you know, what I found myself was as a working mother, you know, um, somebody who at, at, at one point or another, I held down two and three jobs. You know, I found it difficult to be on the front line all the time. So what I did was I would sow into causes, and not just, you know, Jediah, it would be a number of individuals. He'd be the first to attack. So I developed relationships with activists in and all around Chicago because I recognized the work that I was doing. I, like you, I would watch. I would see what they had going on, all that other good stuff. Like, okay, I can trust this one. I don't know about that one. We'll see about this one. And that's how I developed my relationships in and around the community. When I could show up, I did show up to meetings. I was vocal at meetings. You know, I let it be known. And um, ultimately, Jedediah and I developed a relationship based off of a situation that actually happened in my own neighborhood in Chicago. I do have dual residency. I've got a house in Chicago. I've got a house in Georgia, although most days I am here in Georgia. Woo! Woo! Yeah. 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 I'm happy. I'm Georgia I accept it and I believe it. You can't take it from me. My mom's entire side is from Georgia, so I've grown up in this city my whole life. My grandmother lived on Call Your Drive. You know, mm. I, I, I got some deep roots in this room. So when all is said and done, you know, um, I appreciate you all. I appreciate you all seeing the vision, looking past all the craziness, because there's enough of it out there, and seeing truly what's in our hearts. Because that, it speaks for itself. It speaks for itself. So I just want to thank you all for coming out. Um, we'll get more into detail about what we plan to do. We've got major plans for Georgia. Like, I don't even think you all understand. I told Chicago that I expect big things, and it's close and personal to my heart. I don't even think you all understand how close and personal Georgia is to me as well, too. My children are here. We walk these streets. We deal with all the things that's going on in Georgia. So, you know, I'm looking forward to working with you all um, on a whole nother level, on organizing and doing what we need to do for these babies, for our community, for, for all of us, and let it trickle out. So I thank you all for coming out. I think you all deserve a round of applause.
half a mile because everybody can't make a meeting, but this doesn't even reflect all the people who applied to be freedom fighters in the area where we're going. We just be so excited uh, about what's coming because I don't think we, we, we people are doing it every day. It's mm -hmm. bigger and bigger and bigger. We don't know what's going to happen. Um, but the first thing I want to do before I start talking about me is acknowledge Naja. Naja is the reason we were able to. <laughs> Beyond. She came all the way to Chicago, sat down with us at dinner. She has made sure we can get things done. Then when we turned around to come all the way here, yeah. uh, she made sure we had this meeting space today. And we didn't have to worry about none of the logistics of that. So again, Naja, you are uh, uh, so, um, my name is Jetta Dyer, y'all, y'all. How many of y'all know? See my video, my life. I mean, you know, I don't know. So, uh, my name is Jedediah, and um, let me see. How can I explain why I'm into this? I'm into this because I grew up as a typical little black boy that nobody expected anything from. I love how I used to go to places and I hear about all people's accolades and their resumes and their backgrounds and who their family is and how much money they have. And I remember growing up and always being told what I can't do, what I'm not going to do, what I'm not going to become. I promised before God I lost my first girlfriend because I told her mother I wanted to be the first black president of the United States. <laughs> she told me my dreams were unattainable and her daughter had a real track that she couldn't be with me no more. Broke my heart. And it's okay now, because I got some prospects coming. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. Hey, Michelle, 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 you want to go? Uh, anyway, I'm being petty. So um, I grew up with that, and I have had a hard life, but I've always cared about people. It's just something that I, you know, I, it's, it's in me to care for people, to care for people, period. And I've always been a fighter. My mother has raised her children to always fight for yourself, stand up for yourself. My dad um, was not necessarily always there, but my dad is a very strong man who was also a fighter. Long story short, I just never ever let nobody tell me what I couldn't do. I always wanted to break the rules and push the envelope. And it just turned into me going from being a mess to society, trying to make a difference in society. But one thing that I'm so honored about is that when I said that most of my childhood life, listen to people with all these great resumes, I can now tell a whole nother demographic of people that just because your family didn't have this great name, just because you didn't have all that money, just because, you know, get your education, but if you struggle, it does not mean that you cannot change the world. And so I'm honored to be one of the unexpected blessings to the world. And I'm ready to tell all the rest of the unexpected blessings in the world. We don't have no more excuses. Stop waiting on somebody to give you permission to change your world. Stop waiting on somebody to validate what you know you called to be. And I've been struggling with God because I was a pastor for 10 years. And I walked away from the church for two reasons. Number one, I started studying and some of the stuff wasn't adding up. I'm sorry, can I be honest? Yes. It wasn't even adding up with my relationship with God. I'm like, God, this is God showing me something. I'm like, this ain't right. Basic stuff. If y'all know it was more than two animals that went in the ark, no, right? That's <laughs> more animals. We can't even get the simple stuff right. But, and nobody wanted to correct you. But, it was that number one and number two. I saw how all, because you know, pastors, they friend pastors. My benefit was that I was a young pastor. Mm -hmm. I didn't wait till I get older and just accept everything that was going on. I was challenging all my friends. I was like, man, we got to do what Jesus did. And I saw they had no interest. I saw how the, we were sitting in the meetings and they would talk about, they would talk, we would talk more about when is it time to raise an offering versus changing people's lives. I saw the behind the scenes stuff. And I know God is real, but a lot of his children need to stop faking the fun. That's right. That's right. And so I fell away from the church, and then I lost a young man that meant the world to me, and it almost took me out. Long story short, I do what, I, what I'm doing, and I'm doing what I believe, because I thought that I would not have significance, but literally, God has processed me in pain, because 
he had a greater calling than Simon's more in my life. And that's why I do what I'm doing. I'm just trying to be obedient. So what is that? Thank you all. Um, so with that being said, there's quite a bit of you all in here. We would ask of everybody really quickly. Uh, unfortunately, I'm sorry y'all don't get to give a whole testimony like we did. <laughs> but I need everybody to really quickly just tell us who you are. We want to know who you are. Tell us your name really quickly. What got you here? And try to keep it brief because we got some stuff we got to take on a couple of days. The gentleman in the back with the flat head. Maybe I need to give you one of those. Yeah. <laughs> Is that Anthony? Yeah. What's up, bro? Hey, y'all, people really know y'all. Yeah. Oh, we pay attention. I'm Anthony. I'm from Riverdale. Riverdale does. I, 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 I came here because they inspired me. All right. All right. All right. Got nobody? Now what you want to tell the monsters he ain't come? Lamar, why you're not here? You and Notoria. Like really. Yeah. Hey Lon. Jennifer and I'm um, from Chicago. I'm here visiting family yeah. and my family said they were coming over so I'm here just show support and just you know just be here and learn and get to know and eventually it's like join. I really I'm listening I'm, I'm feeling everything that you guys are saying. Yeah. Making what a change in the neighborhood. The south side. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. James, I don't know. Is anybody from Georgia? I am. Woo! Okay, about four people. Everybody else in Chicago? You're going to start a fight. Isaac, I'm from Chicago. I'm here with my cousins. My name is Isaac. I'm from Chicago, and I'm here to support. And I always watch the live, so y'all. Yeah. Good stuff, man. Good stuff, brother. Good stuff. I'm Teresa. I'm originally from Chicago, the South Side. Um, moved here five years ago. Um, just here, I, I watch the live. Uh, I'm a member. I'm a freedom fighter. Ooh, all right, all right. Support. Uh, you a freedom fighter? Let me try. You, we young, we strong. We marching on. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you legit. You legit. All right, I'm Travis. Stuff. 
<laughs> Name is not boy. You famous. <laughs> Stand up. What's your name? How old are you? Oh, my name is Kendrick. I'm 16 years old. Well, my mom has just been watching all y'all videos and stuff. <laughs> so Does she yell around the house, Kendrick? Uh, she's well, sitting in the marshes, at the marshes. Like, she watch it every morning. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Where you from? Do you want to say you something? Wanna go? Go ahead. <laughs> um, my name is Eric. I'm 13. My mom really just... Just stop. Hello. My name is Anne, and... Um, I'm originally from Georgia, so I'm born and raised. I uh, live in Sandy Springs. Uh, these are my children, Caleb and Kayla. Um, they're nine. Um, and I, they're probably tired of me because I'm all night. I don't watch TV. I have my phone by the bed. And when it goes off, it's the middle of the night. My daughter doesn't sleep because she's like, Mommy. I just heard your phone all night. <laughs> you know, it's just all night long. So I know you're not tired of it, baby. But um, I've, I've been following you guys the whole entire time. So um, I don't sleep. I don't sleep. When y'all are up, I'm up. So uh, I'm looking to, I'm a freedom fighter. So um, I want justice as well. You know, I just want to make sure that justice gets served for everybody. You know, I'm very sensitive to this whole thing. I have a cousin that um, we haven't gotten justice for uh, 2004, so, um, you know, he was murdered. So we still haven't gotten justice, and, you know, I'm here. I'm here for the whatever it takes. So okay. that's what I'm here for. Me and my kids. <laughs> Hello, my name is Erin. I'm originally from Virginia, but I've been in Atlanta for almost 20 years, so I guess you can say I'm from here. <laughs> um, I don't really do Facebook, um, and I used to access Facebook through the internet, which you can't view by video. So once the Kanika case started, it forced me to download the app. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so I could keep up with the case. Um, and I fell in love with Jed, Sheena, Latora, and Lamont, and so this this is what has us here today. Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Carla Black. I'm from Lexington, Kentucky, and I live in Decatur, Georgia. And I started following Jedediah and Sheena from the beginning, and I've just been staying with it. I'm one of the ones who be up late at night on my phone, looking, seeing what's going on. My dude takes my phone away and has it. <laughs> but um, I'm glad to be here today. I've never been a part of a community action service type of thing, and God called me to this, so that's why I'm here today. Awesome. The whole family. Yeah. Family. We're not from Georgia, but we next door. We're from Wisconsin. Okay. So next door neighbors from Chicago. Okay. All right. I'm Daniel. Um, this is my son, Jonathan. My son, Jasper. This is my wife, Angela. First of all, uh, my wife, actually, uh, she's the one that follow you guys. Uh, I'm pretty much, I'm at work all the time. But when I come home, <laughs> her and that phone is right there. So she has been a blessing to me because she's she's opening me up to see more things to uh, wow. just hear what's going on around the world as far as dealing with us black people, you know. So um, it's been a blessing, you know. Um, like I said, she mainly follow you guys, uh, and I'm sort of getting into it now. But like I said, a lot of times I'm at work, but when I come home. She pretty much can tell me anything, everything, dealing with whatever y'all doing. So I just want to let y'all know, uh, y'all have really motivated and energized my wife. And that's a blessing for me. So I appreciate it. I'm sure she probably got something to say. Yeah, I, I, I really um, enjoy this movement. Um, 
since I started following you all, it has really opened my eyes. I'm already in a struggle when it comes to edu the educational system with our kids. So it, it really touches my heart when it comes to just the injustice of, of people that have, don't have a voice for themselves. And then our children don't have a voice in the school system. So um, when, when, I, when I battle every day with especially my younger child, I see that how we, we as parents have to advocate for our children and then to keep them out of the system. If they enter into the system, they don't have a voice at all. So we have to advocate for them and it is hard once they get into that system. So we have to have these people behind us 100%. So we have to be behind them. We have to push them. People are complaining about giving money to them for causes. Give the money. If it's just $5 out of your pocket, what is that going to hurt? It's not going to hurt to help them get a room or to get somebody out of jail for putting their fist up to let them know that they have to be able to help their child. It may not be your child. It may not be your child. But it's somebody else's child that does not have a voice to speak for themselves. We need to be and rally around people like this that can get out there. I don't have a job right now because I just have to be able to be there for my child, 100%. And so for a parent to be able to, to have to go to work and to be able to have to you know, go to the jail, be able, that's hard work. That is so much. And you know, I, I sit there and I think this is the young lady who has her son that's in jail right now. And I just hurt for her child. And I'm just like, I had the same situation with my child, her background of her baby. And I'm just like, if my child were to go through that, I don't know what I would do on a daily basis. And she's helpless and he's helpless. And when you have the case of Kanika Jenkins, who we don't know the whole ramification of it, but we can just imagine the whole ramification of it. It is just daunting upon us. We have to be able to rally behind Jed, Sheena, everyone to help them and not ask questions. Just what do you need? What do you need us to do? We're behind you 100%. Watching y'all and Jay, when you know when you get fired up, people might be like, "Don't do that." I feel you on it. I'm like, "Yeah, yeah." <laughs> so <laughs> tell them you can do that. <laughs> and so it's kicked up a lot in me. Um, kind of like um, this lady here. Um, I have a, a relative who's who's now 
and, and it happened since it's been going on and suffering injustices from our legal system in my local, local county. And just with all I've seen and with all I know and what I'm learning from you all, not only legal-wise, but even about tax and poison, how to carry yourself and present yourself in certain ways to certain people, um, I have vowed to fight no matter what. I'm going to continue to support on whatever end I can. Oh, because I'm a free to fight, but I got my email. <laughs> <laughs> I am a free to fight. But at the same time, um, I'm going to... Um, it's inspired me and motivated me and given me what I need on the inside, not only to connect back to who, who guides and leads me and my heavenly father, God, but to, for me to be able to do what he's placed on the inside of me in the natural for my nephew and for, for others as I learn and as I grow. Thank you. Have I talked to you on live yet? You I be talking back. You be going. I just, you, you all saying that. I don't, I don't get no time. I never put you on video. No, no. I be, I be, who's next? So I be like, my thing is right there, chick. It's right there. She's going to be good. <laughs> hey everybody, my name is Mia Finn and I'm from Rome, Georgia. And this is my sister. I came with her. I haven't been on social media, so I, this is my first time hearing about y'all today. Welcome. Glad right. to see you. Right. You've been set up. We gonna get to you today. <laughs> and my son is also incarcerated, and I think it was wrong, and it's, it, I just want justice for him. But so this my third thing. My name is Mia. I'm originally from Chicago. Okay, okay. Chicago is not. Chicago is not. I know who you are. I'm so radical. It's a bunch of different people with beautiful hands. So I like authentic, and I'm a fighter. Yeah. Looking for stuff to fight for. Girl, who you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> it just made sense. And then I just feel I was led by God. I go to church with you. I can help my salvation. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. It just helped me. Okay? And so I'm just radical and I'm just happy to be here. We're I'm happy that you're here. So, <laughs> what up, family? Yeah. How I got on to the uh, Freedom Fight My Wife every night. Heads on. Y'all keep on bringing these men to us. We need more men. That's cool. Right. Well, the time I seen Jay and Jay had said something about you had been exposed. Y'all gonna get a reality show on HBO. Y'all belong on HBO. No, 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 I ain't gonna keep having it long with the preacher. I drove what y'all doing. I'm not a freedom fighter yet, but my wife is. You will be. And uh, brother Jay, man, the rest of young brother there, keep your head up, man. Yeah. I, like, I see a lot more men in the building than I yes. see anywhere else. We need more of us, black brothers, that come out. Yeah. And Jay, yeah. be the OG, bro, you doing your thing. Even when you were yeah. mad yesterday, that's, oh, yeah. Yeah. that's coming from the heart, because I was right with you, bro. I said, what kind of. I'm with, I want to just. I'm with you, bro. <laughs> Yes. Right. Yes. We gotta get organized because we're taking too it's many coming. hits. 
But I started with the Kanika case. I don't know how whose page I was on, but I've been following ever since. I'm finally starting to get some sleep. I do not watch TV anymore. Uh, I don't know what that is. Not even But I really appreciate what you guys are doing. I want to be a part of it. I, w I don't want to sit here and complain about what's not being done right. I want to be a part of the solution of how it can be done. How it can be done right. But I have a connection with you guys because I used to live in Harvey with an ex a long time ago, and oh. I felt the connection to, I used to live in Riverdale too, okay. and so I felt a little connection to, to the case Stop because off. of that. Yeah, Stop you are right. right. <laughs> but thank you guys, and I'm glad to be here, and, and it's good to be able to see so many people that we can connect with that I've never met. I've met friends. I've now, yes. you know, a lot of people in here, because of you guys, people that live right next door to us now, we get a chance to meet. That's so awesome. I look oh. forward to being a part of this. Thank you. No, how passionate. Let me say, in the interest of time, we want everybody to get an opportunity to speak. But we have to, what, 30 seconds? 30 seconds per person because we lit, we have a lot, like, I don't even think you all understand what we have planned for Georgia. Okay, so I'm on, yeah, no, no, you go ahead. You go ahead. <laughs> My name is Terry. I'm from Los Angeles, but I moved to Atlanta about five years ago. I just met Wanda, but we've been talking all day. What she doesn't realize is my mom is from Harvey. Oh, wow. My people are from Chicago. Um, wow. My 30 seconds. No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 you're no. fine. You, you're fine. I, I'm so excited. You all have no idea. Um, I am the granddaughter of an original Tuskegee Airman. From way back when, my people have been discriminated against. Mm -hmm. You are my new family. You are. I'm yes. not a lot of y'all. Oh, they yeah. don't even have it. Right. You yeah. need it. I got it. You got it. Mm -hmm. okay. Do you do you want to say anything about what we talked about or no? Um, you don't, don't have know. to. But first, I want to apologize. Whoever's man in the logo email, I have seen about a thousand. Okay. We see him. We see him. We see him. We see him. It's a lot of logos, though. We'll talk about that too. <laughs> um, what what Sheena is talking about is I have a friend who's a general manager of a radio station, and I have gifted us two minutes of on-air time, and it's to be broken down however they want to use it. But she explained to me it's usually in 30-second increments. Mm -hmm. So that's four opportunities that we have to get us out there. Mm -hmm. to All right. Uh -huh. Bill, okay. And she gifted that. We didn't ask for it. She just, awesome. out of the kindness you. of her heart, she decided yeah. to And so that's why I'm here today to help support y'all, back y'all, and do whatever whatever I can. Right. Thank you for coming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you said who did that? Um, I'm Good evening, everybody. I'm from Birmingham, Alabama. This is my best friend, Adrian. And um, 
I got with this group, I think it was Jedediah that was, um, they were, y'all were marching doing that um, Kanika's thing. And I was like, what is this about this girl? And it kept just coming on your live feed, I mean, coming on the feed through your Facebook. And I was talking to her one night, and I was like, have you watched this, you know, thing on Facebook about this girl? And we, it was, it just went from there. And we don't watch TV anymore <laughs> because we always watch it and seeing what's going on. And Kanika, the case with Kanika drew us together. And, um, Jed, where did he go? To the party. Listen, that is, that is one powerful guy. And it's not him, it's the spirit in him. Right. And that's what you have to recognize, and that's what I recognize. And I, I must say that it's been probably over 20 years since I stepped foot inside of a church. I didn't say I wasn't getting the gospel. I said step foot inside of a church, physically. I don't care to ever do it again, but if I could hear this man here, I haven't heard a preacher in that long, but I've heard people speak, teach the gospel. You know what I mean? But... Jed is something about him and his mom that just drew me. And so I'm here today to support. I am a freedom fighter. Amen. All right. All right. Welcome, family. My name is Anzel Campbell from Maywood, Illinois, Chicago. All right. All right. I got into the freedom fighting, whatever. Uh, freedom fighting because I heard she watch it, uh, watch y'all Jed or whatever. Facebook, so I got the one in the same like him. Who is Jed? You know, <laughs> so I sat down and watched it. You know, and I got and you know in tune with what's going on. So I always knew that I wanted to fight for others that can't fight for themselves either. So, so you here now? Yeah, I'm in. You I'm live in, here? Yeah, I'm in the lab. Okay, so, okay, all right. So, Rep your new city. Yeah, yeah. Only <laughs> Brook. Okay, where is it? Uh, Douglasville. I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, I'm Tasha Campbell, and I'm originally from the southwest side okay. of Chicago. All right. um, we've been here about since 2004. We're going to claim Atlanta halfway, so we a half of y'all four that's from Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> but, of course, the Kanika case brought me here and following you guys. So, yes, don't watch TV anymore. You guys are my TV. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> Hi, my name is Christine Johnson, and I joined with the uh, Kanika case. Um, I wanted Joe to die to be in here so he could hear me, because my husband is an uh, elder, and he feels the same way that uh, Joe yeah, do does. about the Bible. And I, I was glad you had to kick me off your page. I, I will. Was fussing. <laughs> <laughs> I was fussing. Telling you and Jedediah, no, don't listen to them. God put y'all here. I remember when Jedediah wanted to be the mayor. I said, no, you're bigger than that. So you can't be I the mayor of that. Chicago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm always fussing. But I had uh, signed the thing for to become a member because I want to become a member. And justice. All right, all right. All right. Thank My you. husband is in the car. We could have came in here. <laughs> Hello, um, I'm Pam Walker. Um, I started following during the Kanika case. I saw somebody's live and I just continued to watch it. Originally, I grew up in Birmingham. I live in Columbus right now. Drove about an hour and 40 minutes to get here. Oh, oh yeah. thank you for um, being here. So that's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm Scott. Um, what brought me here was I seen Lamar. And oh, yeah. it was a young female. She was like, you're not alone, brother. <laughs> I don't know who she was, but she was just hollering. I've been following ever since Same. and have been dedicated. And your compassion has truly, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, I have been inspired. I cried with you. I I'm going to try not to cry tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I also am in charge of a magazine, and um, I have access to a website. So there's an avenue that maybe we can utilize, and I wanted to offer that to you. I you inboxed me, didn't you? Yes, I, I remember. Did. Okay, all so right. Definitely get in contact. We'll talk. We'll okay. talk. We'll swing on the wall, and then we'll come back. <laughs> Hello, I am a freedom fighter. My name is Matisha Prophet. I currently live here in Atlanta, but I'm actually a country girl in the city. I'm from a place called Cuthbert, Georgia, that has one traffic light, and we didn't get that until now. Yeah, we never heard of you. Right. <laughs> um, it's actually um, 45 minutes away from Columbus. Okay. It's in between Columbus, Georgia, and Albany. Um, but what has me here at this moment? I'm always um, uh, have a burning desire to help people in various situations, especially when there's an injustice. Um, here in Atlanta, 
there have been many of injustices here that have come across our news feed and things like that. But the thing that separated the movement from with the freedom fighters and what I've seen previously was that three things. One was the leadership, two, there was organization, and the third thing and most important thing when I feel like you're in a movement such as this, that was a purpose. You were protesting with a purpose. You weren't just out there making noise every step of the way. There was a, a, a reason and it was very particular about what you were doing. You were fighting and making a movement with a purpose. Because mm -hmm. if, you're, if you're protesting without a purpose, that's just like saying the, um, the scripture about faith without work is dead. If you're out there just making noise, but you don't even know what you, why you're out there and what you're working for and what results you're trying to get, it's no point you being out there. So I feel like, um, you know, it was, it, I was just moved. Once I saw all the movements that were going forward and the efforts that everyone was putting forth and strangers coming together for a common goal to make something happen, and again with a purpose, and results were actually happening and coming forth, of course you, you can't want to do anything else but be a part of that. So that's what brought me here. Right. Oh my goodness, thank you. Speech. <laughs> <laughs> Renika Richardson, I am from Monroe, Georgia, originally from Mississippi. Okay. Um, I watch, I think that was Lamont first, and then Jen. Mm -hmm. So I've been with it the whole time. All that work in the bathroom. <laughs> watching, watching, it's like, ready. My kids even know, oh Lord, it's on. I never watch TV anymore, but I am a freedom fighter and I'm ready. Any deltas in the house? Oh, okay, okay. So we're, we're, we, we like, you know, helping others and I'm ready. All right, so, all right. Go boy. Wait that. <laughs> I'm Sherry. And Jedediah hit my page. And I've been following you all ever since. You Son and up, I'm originally <laughs> west side of Chicago. Oh, right. 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 And I try to make it home every year. Every year. And I made it home early in April. I had a stroke in June. But look, God is by the grace of God. Mm -hmm. look, by the grace look, of God. Yes, oh. I went from a walker oh. to the cane. Mm -hmm. But that person over there. Where you at? Come on, yeah. that chair to die. You thought I was bigger too, did you? Yeah, you we don't have a <laughs> <to feed you. laughs> I was grew up and raised on the west side of Chicago. Awesome. And I still have family there. It's still my home. Mm -hmm. But when I seen him stand up and talk mm -hmm. for Kanika, mm -hmm. he just changed your heart. And I, I have one daughter and four boys. Oh yeah. yeah. It just, it just changed your heart. Mm -hmm. But I have a teenage granddaughter that's new to me for one year because she's married to my, my son. She wants your autograph. Oh, wow. I am not no, no. She, and I, I, I told her, I said, I'm going to make sure gonna. she wants it right there on her favorite book, Sister Soldier. Right. <laughs> uh, well, let me do this. I'm going to come and sit with and talk to you at, in one minute, okay? You didn't put me on the spot. Everybody, like, what are you going to do? <laughs> oh, my God. Y'all, <laughs> I'm going to come talk to you in one second. Okay. You are awesome. Brookhaven, Georgia. Um, I love helping people, and that's why I'm here. Okay. I'm Kiana Brady. Um, I'm from Georgia, and just watching Jed and Lamont fly with all the Kanika people case, it touched me. It made me look about everything that's going on in the world. It made me just research and rethink about a lot of things, and you know, I'm just happy to be a part of something, a movement that care about our people. I don't have kids, but it don't have to be anybody I know that's, you know, to um, feel sympathy for all the things that's going on with our community. So I'm happy to be a part of the freedom. All right. Come on, hit her. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. My I'm name is you. Ashley. I'm not from Georgia. I'm from East St. Louis, Illinois. Okay. Okay. Um, I've been here now since 2014. Uh, I, I'm not a freedom fighter. I haven't joined. Yeah. But 
Her. I'm a freedom fighter. <laughs> My mother-in-law is, oh, Jesus, driving me freedom fighter crazy. <laughs> so, I, I've watched all the lives and everything like that, but I'll be joining soon. Okay. Hey, I'm Kendra. Um, so I'm from Dallas, Georgia, and I've been, I started watching Lamont when he was in the bathroom, and he was in a taxi cab. So, my husband told me, you need to get off the phone. I stay on my phone to watch a movie on Netflix. When I hear my phone go off for Jedediah and Sheena, I'm on there. So I be in the kitchen cooking while y'all out there protesting. I'm in there dancing. Them was my kids up there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and I have y'all cowbell, Jedediah and Natora. Okay. Y'all cowbell. Yeah. Uh, if y'all hear about force, just blink twice. I'll get you out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, like, for you and Natora, that's what I'm That's a real cowbell. Yeah, cowbell. <laughs> <laughs> Well, my name is Ryan, and um, I decided to join because I want justice for my people. I look at everybody in here as my people. I believe in standing up to the oppressor and fair, equal opportunities for all of us. So that's that's the reason why I started to follow the movement, and you know, just what you know, what's right. You got to stand up for what's right. So that really touched me, and you know, watching you guys. So. Wherever you need me, I'm here. Right. Awesome. You want to say something? No? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Sandra Smith, and God sent me into the world to serve humanity. I follow the Christ, the original freedom fighter. I'm an ordained minister, a doctoral student, and I have two nonprofits. One who are formerly incarcerated women that's seven years old, and we're always on the grind. To us and got having uh, started an online ministry called Sense Ministry in Christ for folks that don't like to go to church. Because even I don't like to go to church. I don't like organized religion because I'm God in spirit. And so that's with that. Uh, how I how I decide to join and walk with you on this journey. I've been a freedom fighter since the 90s. I'm one of the elders in the room. I just turned 58. So I came and I talked to my buddy who's in Chicago, and I said. I want to come and be with the young folks of this movement and not to take over and not to push forward, but don't want to be pushed in the corner to give you me, whether we go into jail, whether we, you need bail, whether we got stand up. Because I marched in the 80s when uh, Hosea Williams went to Forsyth, and then 100,000 of us went to Forsyth to deal with the Klan. So I knew... Something about it said that this is not a fad and this is not just something to do. It's strategic. I can feel it. Because it's getting ready to get real ugly, real crucial, because this madman has done craziness in six months. So I'm ready to ride or die. Because my motto with Christ is we ride or die with Lord Jesus of Christ, so we ride or die. I want to say, I want to say, 31 years old. And over 10 years of advocacy, you're the first seasoned woman that's ever looked me in the eye saying, I'm willing, I will go to jail with you. You're the first seasoned woman that said, I want to come. I don't want, I don't want to take over. I don't want to push forward. I just don't want to be pushed to the back. You're the first seasoned woman that has ever declared that. I looked at you dead in your eye and basically say, I will fight with you. And strategic is an understatement. This is truly a God move. Thank you so much. My name is Marquis Smith from Maywood. That's my brother here. I just recently relocated here, Sandy Springs, me and my wife. Um, where do I start? Uh, from my wife is literally. I mean, you see. In her hand, right, in her hand now. right now. I mean, literally, we could be in the car. She forced me to drive so she can be on live. And I'm trying to figure out, okay, who in the hell is this Jed? Jed and she followed me. Uh, who is this Sheena? I'm like, okay, what up? So after, you know, watching and, you know, seeing Lamont and all this stuff, it's just like, wow, this is a movement 
that, you know, I'm not a freedom, freedom fighter as of right now, but it's like a movement. Like, yes, he wow. is. We won. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I received that. You should have been. You probably would have voted for me to win the presidency. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then it's like, it's not only me now. I mean, she got my whole family, our whole family, literally. Man, did you call the vote? You see the vote? You see? <laughs> so now, I mean, I see what it's about. And man, I commend you guys for what all you guys are doing. And uh, you guys will be blessed. I'm the wife. Hi. Um, I started following you guys. I believe it was Lamon and I think it was one other lady out there. It might be what you were talking about yeah, when hotel. it first at the hotel yeah. when it first started. And um, me and a family member, we were talking about. It. I was like, well, "What happened? What's going on?" And so then from there, we got connected with Jedediah, and then after that. The rest is history. I've just been like this. <laughs> on my way to work, on break, the, the manager like, can you take one of your earplugs out, please? I'm like, I'm trying to. Yeah, I got to catch up to see what happens. <laughs> so, I'm a freedom fighter, too. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Hello, everybody. Hello. My name is Nicole Williams. I am a free, freedom fighter. Um, I live in Austell, Georgia, originally from Louisiana, but I've been in Georgia for 21 years. We got married down there in the country and moved to Atlanta. Um, what inspired me to become a freedom fighter is I saw Jed's live going for Kanika Jenkins. Not sure how, not sure what happened. Um, I am married, as I've said, of 21 years. I told my husband, I said, okay, so they have this march going on in Chicago that I'm gonna give me a ticket and I'm going tomorrow. <laughs> he was like, so what are you talking about? And so I explained him the Kamika Jenkins case. I went over the lives, Jez's lives, and he was informed. Just like, okay, get you a ticket and go. So that's what I did. So I marched that Friday night with you guys um, in Chicago. So it was 1800 with a big crowd? Yeah. With a big crowd, the 1800 Friday night. I was there. By myself, um, I mean, of course, with the big family that was out there. And um, so I, too, like everybody else, do not watch TV. This is my TV right here. Um, when Jed comes on, I turn over. My husband's like, that must be Jed on live again. I'm like, this is, this is Jed on live. But I, I have a 18-year-old son who's in college in Louisiana, and I just got so emotional, even way back to Trayvon Martin. I'm like, okay, what can yeah. we do? Where are the marches at? And I'm like, you very vocal. You can't shut me up. I'm the baby of everybody. But I have the loudest voice and everybody comes to me, which is okay. Yeah. Um, but I'm really passionate for standing up, for fighting for justice, um, for those that are voiceless and that need us. So I am glad to be a part of the Freedom Fighting family. Yeah. All right. Today, yeah. um, I am Shandria Georgia Peach Camp. Um, for y'all that have seen me, hey Jay, I love you. I love when I tell you I love y'all. I don't don't take that lightly. I'm like seriously, I love y'all. But what um, brought me to um, you all was Jay. When I seen you going into the mayor's office, I was like, who is this dude? Like he is like determined. He, you know, that voice. It was just something that drew me to you. And I was just like, wow. So I just been looking ever since. I've been searching. Then I seen Sheena. And I was like, she in Georgia, you know. So, um, but that's what you brought me to, um, brought here. And um, my son, of course, is Justin, who I'm um, fighting for justice for, 13 year old. Um, so a lot of people had had my yeah, this my baby. Um, a lot of people um, have heard his story. So I just want justice for people. And I, like I said, if I can't get help for my own son, I'm going to help other people because that's the heart I have. It's all about my heart. And people don't understand. They're always like, you always doing this. You always, That's me. I'm just a fighter. I'm just a fighter. And I'm sorry that it's like that, but that's in me. Don't so, be sorry. So it's me. But well, I'm, I'm so glad to have a family. Y'all just don't know because it's been like, I, even though my son, we're married. Me and my husband, we have four kids. He's our baby. And it's like it's, I've been by myself. Like I'm, I'm fighting this fight by myself. Even though he has family, we have people, but it hurts. And I'm just thankful. I'm thankful. So thank y'all. I'm gonna talk to you after this. So, so. Hi, I'm Katrina. 
I live in Georgia, but I'm originally from Chicago, Southside. Okay. Southside? <laughs> yes. Um, and yes, I'm a freedom fighter. And um, what made me join was just getting fed up of the injustice. Um, I think I, I inboxed Jedediah um, about um, my mom getting killed in Chicago. And she had 14 kids and just recently got off drugs and got herself together and end up getting killed walking to the store. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just, I'm just with fighting for justice because my mom still don't got justice. So I'm like, if we can't get it for her, just I just want to help because I know I want somebody to help get justice for my mom. So that's why I'm here. Awesome. Still unsolved, right? Yeah, I inboxed you. Um, yeah. yeah, still unsolved. Family up there just saying, let it be. It's, 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 mm -hmm. it's, mm -hmm. Matter of fact, on the 27th May, eight years. She's been, she been, she been gone, but yeah, she brought us here to Georgia to get us a better chance from Chicago, and she ended up going back, and yeah, she was cute. Yeah, but I'm, I'm at peace with it, but I'm glad I found a family, and I feel more justice. Yeah. I'm Crystal Smith. I'm from Long Beach, California, but I've been living here for a while. I brought my two daughters, seven-year-old Lauren and 12-year-old Kyla. And um, I first found you guys, a co-worker shared, an oh, ex-co-worker shared your video when Kanika Case first started. And so sharing works. I started watching you guys and got I'm one of you. Believe it or not, I teach every day and I don't like standing up talking in front of people. <laughs> but um, I'm Nadja and... Um, yeah. I teach social studies. I teach U.S. history. And so I told you the stories. It's really true. When I was in school, I read uh, the autobiography of Malcolm X. And it just changed my life. And so we, we know that Malcolm X was uh, part of a movement in the 60s. And so the more I read that book and the more I saw things that were happening in society, I used to really get depressed, really depressed. In the same way that I spent a lot of time looking at videos and reading things that's going on, with these cases that we're looking at. I used to spend a lot of time looking at FBI files and articles and all this stuff about King, X, and all these people. And I would get more and more depressed. The more I read, I get more depressed because I said, we will never have people like this in society that would, would stand up for our people again. Like, I, it, it's the end. Like, I said, these guys are dead. It's over for us. What are we going to do? And so, and here it is in 2017, all these years, and I'm online looking at Kanika's case, the same thing, and I see these people, and they're doing all this protest, and I'm like, who does that in 2017? And so then the other side of that was um, in, in social studies in Georgia, kids have to, there's a standard that for kids to be civically engaged, where well, they should be doing this type of work. And so, and I have to stand in front of these kids and tell them every day why it's important that you get involved in social justice, but I'm not doing it myself. Mm -hmm. So the reason why I'm here is because you guys gave me an opportunity not only to talk the talk, but to walk to walk and be an example for the kids that I, I touch every day. Mm -hmm. And so to have even Jedediah to be so gracious to come and just talk to the kids for, you know, I think he talked to them for about 15 minutes. They, they Because every day on my break, kids hang out in my room. But since this started, there's Miss Ring, what you doing? We can't, you can't come here. I'm going live. And I, not me actually going live. I'm going live to see this stuff. And so now it's like a joke. What you doing for your break? You going live? Yes, I'm going live. You know, that's how I like to so, so I'm just thankful. And my, my whole part is, you know, whatever I can do. You know, I'm just a little fish. You know, my, my, my forte is children. But, you know, whatever I can do in this movement, I'm here. Uh, just let me know. And we're going to be working very closely. Awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 My name is Shay. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I started following the Freedom Fighters uh, originally, uh, Natora, until I seen Jed. And literally, <laughs> literally, <laughs> because of the God in you, like when you when you walk in the room, the lights come on. Mm -hmm. Yes. And sometimes you try to allow people. I ain't gonna say you try. Sometimes it's hard and difficult because you're you're human. I'm the one who be talking to John, and you thinking I be talking to you, but I be fighting the people who talking about you. So I be going up on you? You be going up on me. I be like, hold on, brother, I'm your little son. I got your back. I got your back.
because you can't be fighting that battle. You yeah. can't even listen to the naysayers <laughs> or you got to turn that volume down and turn up that positive <clears throat> volume because that's why we're following you. It's a God in you. Yes. And you're the reason why I joined. I don't watch TV. <laughs> my kids, I give them an hour. My daughter going to be 17. I give her an hour on social media. I give my son, he 14, an hour on social media. So they like, Mom, you still on my... I'm like, but this is Jay. <laughs> this is Jay. I got to see what Jay is talking about. And when you slow down, I'll be like, Jay, why you ain't going live? You got to go live. Like when you when y'all was out of town and you was like, I'm not going to be going live. I'm like, no, Jay, you got to go live. You got to go live. I mean, like, you're in my television. So I love all you guys. I'm Shay. I'm... I'm what you would consider the background person who pays attention to everything, and I'll tell you what went on. Hey, family, everybody. My name is Samantha Hudson. Samantha. I am originally from Chicago, born and raised. I was raised, yeah, Southside, but I was raised in Cabrini Green. We lived there for 20 years, and then my mom moved us to the South Side. Uh, I came about watching uh, Jedediah with the Kanika case, but I wanted to know a little bit more about this young man in Chicago, knowing that I came from Chicago and I knew what the heartbeat of Chicago was and the climate there is now. And I saw a phenomenal individual. And so when I read on him, I saw the Trump. And I was like, wait a minute, is this the guy that shut the thing down? <laughs> and I realized it was Jedediah. And when, as I continued to watch the lives, I was in the nail shop one day. And uh, the Lord gave me a word for him, literally a word for Jedediah. And it was to tell him, to encourage him, to let him know that it was far beyond Kanika, far beyond Chicago, that he was going to the nation. And he said that you make sure that no matter what, that you always inspire him to understand that many are called, but he was the chosen. So I try to always make sure throughout my day, whether he knows it or not, and she and him know that I use a part of my day to step fast away and pray. Because for all of us, this move is a God move. It's not a me move. It's not a I move. It's a transformational move. And we're here to undergird Jedediah because he's a visionary. God said, write the vision and make it plain. It's easy to see that when he walks in the room that he is a God move. And he knows that it is bigger than himself. And I'm just happy to know that he has embraced it. I'm pulling it out even more. And he knows that we love him. So that's why I'm here. And I'm a freedom fighter to the day I die. Yeah. Y'all want to say something? Oh, I'm sorry. This is my grandson, Curtis, and this is my granddaughter, yeah. Chanel. All right. All right. Awesome. So I know y'all just got that clap, but give yourselves another round. Oh. So what we are going to do is we're going to go off. Uh, offline for a second, but before we do, I think we need to make that announcement. We're gonna let it uh, go ahead, Madam no, President. No, I think you. We 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 came up with something on our. Really, we've been talking about it, but on <laughs> our way well, over. Here's here. the thing. Here's the thing. She, 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 here's the thing. <laughs> What's happening is literally beyond our control. Yes. Yes. We are trying to make sure that we stay in sync with what's going on. But this thing is spreading so far, so wide, so fast. It's reaching in places that we could have never imagined. Jesus. We just had no way of phantoming what's coming. What coming. And based on what's coming, uh, it appears that we, Atlanta, Georgia is going to be the headquarters for <laughs> I 
am not leaving Chicago. Okay. Y'all know, I love, I love all of y'all. I love my city. I love my city too. Chicago still has the largest gathering. You say that. But it looks like, I mean, we're not going to say too much, but there's some things down here that's, uh, that is offered that's not offered anywhere else. And um, I'm going to just say a lot of people watching. A lot of people are watching from some amazing places, and y'all, we gonna change the world. Yeah. Yes. You know what I said? Yeah. Raleigh, Raleigh, North Carolina, Raleigh, North Carolina took that away from me yesterday. Because there is a lot of negativity that comes with this. Yes. Let me tell you, let me tell you why there's negativity. There's negativity, number one, because change is hard. Yes. And when something comes that look like it's going to bring change, we attack it because we're not used to it. And then there's a way that we've been doing stuff. I am a straight shooter. I do not believe in faking the fun. That's why I used to tell people, I don't believe in that fake it till you make it. I say speak it till you see it. That's right. Do it until you get it. Press until it's yours. Don't fake nothing. And so with that being said, we have this whole philosophy, don't put our business out there, which you got to be careful what you put out there. But there's some very real issues in our community that we need to start sweeping under the rug yes. and we need to deal with it. And number, number one, we need to learn to get unified. Yes. We need to stop thinking that just because somebody going up that the rest of us are going to stay stagnant. Right. And we need to learn how to come together and understand that all ships rise with the tide. Yes. And then, on top of that, because it's so new, it's so new, we are just being tested to prove we're really ready for what's coming our way. I know the people are not attacking us just, people don't even know what they're attacking. They're just going off for the gossip and the rhetoric or other stuff like that. We have not learned to start being critical thinkers and look for the facts. And so people attack us because you came in late and you're going off of what the other person said. But all of this is a setup because when we get to the place where we're going, we're going to be able to correct this in our community. And we, when we get together, y'all, I believe for a fact in my heart. As a child, I've always grown up, and I've loved two men that was put, three men that were placed in front, four men that were placed in front of me. I'm sorry to think about it. Number one was Tupac. Number two was Martin Luther King. Number three was Malcolm X. Number four was Nelson Mandela. If you really look at the crux of these four men, they wanted to be liberated to be their authentic self. Yes. And they didn't necessarily, well, Tupac might be a little different, but they didn't want. Tupac might be a little different. You know, Tupac and Malcolm X, he had some hints of it in like the, uh, before his ending days, but they didn't want us to be, they weren't trying to make us better. They were saying, we ain't no different, and y'all gonna treat us right. And yeah. we're gonna stand up for ourselves and we're gonna build. Mm -hmm. And I've always understood that philosophy. And I remember as a little kid, Talking to God, because my mother's always prayed in front of us as children. I don't believe in God because of church. I believe in God because of my parents. I saw who got them through. So when I got in trouble, I just want to try, let me try to guide in my mom. Lord, get me out of here. And so, long story short, I told God that I would love to be a part of Dr. King's dream being actually manifested, realized. Every year we commemorate these people, but when are we going to do what they showed us how to yes. do? Yes. Why we keep on complaining about where we are when we know nobody coming to make this better for us? Yes. We got to make this better for ourselves. The one thing that I recognize, and I'm going to switch it over and let them talk, because I can talk a whole lot. But the one thing that I'm so happy about, I have to go ahead and accept it, is that this, women, this movement is 80% women. And what I learned or what I'm realizing is that anything that has ever made a ma major impact, it's the women that get it going. Yes, but what I know for a fact is that when the women show up and stand up and put the stand up there, the men going to have to come and rise to the occasion. Yes. So something is happening in the world that Donald Trump is even a setup for us. Because I believe that when we get this together, we're never going to be broken apart again. I just believe it. And we're going to hand it down to them something better than what was handed down to us. Right. So let's come off live.